in the garage oh boy so that property is pretty great if you like snakes it'd be pretty great uh that was a, a very large rattlesnake that almost got away hello hey this is brian with rattlesnake solutions i just talked to nick about your backyard visitor yes uh, I will be there in 11 minutes, it says. He said cool. you have some dinner plans or something, so I'll try to get there and get that taken care of before before you have to awesome. go. Call me when you're here and I'll open my gate. Okay, sounds good. See you soon. Thanks, bye. bye. So I was out of town all weekend, hiking and driving as hard as I could, <laughs> looking for rattlesnakes. Uh, found a good amount of them. Uh, met up with Jeff, had a good time this morning. Just got home. Just took a shower, just got ready to relax, and I'm on my way to go catch a rattlesnake. That's how you make a snake all happen, basically, is, is if you're, if the hotline is a little bit slow and you want to get it jumping, uh, start a movie or something like that. Hi, how you doing? Hello. Hi. Is he in the pool? No, he's oh, okay. The okay, yeah, it happens with the pool thing sometimes too. So. He's right in the corner. Oh, there he is. Yeah, he's stuck. I'm gonna look and see how we got in. Hey everybody, Jeff here. I am headed out to Queen Creek to go get a what they say is a large uh, diamondback rattlesnake on their porch, I think. I'm not quite sure, but I am about 20 minutes out and so I'm gonna run over there and see what we got. As of late, we've actually been having a good amount of calls come in for Queen Creek and Santan Valley and towns like that because there is a lot of development going on. Queen Creek in the South Valley is one of the fastest growing towns or cities in Arizona right now. And as more and more development pushes into rattlesnake habitat, there's gonna be more encounters. There's gonna be more displaced animals, not just rattlesnakes, but mammals like coyotes, bobcats, all sorts of different things because they don't have a place to go. I actually live nearby this town and it's been sad to see that a lot of my favorite spots to go out and look for snakes has actually been developed on all of those animals are gone and been wiped out so the unfortunate thing that we have to deal with is finding a place to release these animals finding suitable habitat nearby that isn't going to be developed or ruined where the snake is just gonna get you know plowed into the ground it's an unfortunate thing we have to deal with but Hopefully we'll be able to find a good place for this rattlesnake. All right, here we go. Hello. Good. Where is the culprit? So he's right at the corner of the house, right up against it. Okay. That's a, that's a pretty big one. Yeah, right? <laughs> oh, wow. That's, that's a particularly large rattlesnake. Oh, he, it's been living in that hole right there for a while. That is a huge... It's a big rattlesnake. Have there been any construction projects or anything recently? No. Any any reason a gate might be open? Or... No. Oh. It's a long nose stick right there. Yeah. 
A bonus snake. <laughs> this is, I found another one. This is a long nose snake. He can't get in, but it's harmless. He was trying. <laughs> All right, get out of here. Actually, do you want me to, no. I mean, he's harmless. Do you want me to take it while I have it? Okay. Where do you take them? Um, we take him to the desert and away from the home and away from homes. So he'll go somewhere. Um, I'll just have to look at a map and see if we can figure out the best place, so. Yeah. What was that? Oh boy. All right, well, in the garage? Oh boy. Oh, that's uh, that's not a rattlesnake. Yeah, this is, this is called a ground snake. This is an adult too. Oh, that's an adult. Right? He's, a, he's a guy you like. He eats centipedes, occasionally scorpions, black widows, stuff like that. So, yeah, I'll go put him in the rocks over there. So yeah, they're, yeah, you got quite a few snakes today. <laughs> yeah. A little bonus snake. This is a ground snake. See you later. Whoa. This is a large mouth. <laughs> That's cool, man. That is a large rattlesnake. That's one of the bigger ones I've seen. Hell yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Right on. All right. Well, thank you. That was cool. <laughs> Not a lot of snake calls get me like jittery, but that thing is pretty big. That's, you know, you got this desert right here along your house. Yeah. And, uh, that's where it came from. Do you Man, that's any more living in there? Um, you know what? It might be worth getting a hose and try to see if there's anything out in there flooding it out. So if you can bring a hose around. Yeah, just flood it out. Let's 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 see. Do you wanna do it now? Yeah, let's do it. Oh hell yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, gonna be great. <laughs> I you know, I don't know that there's gonna be another one, but it's worth checking while I'm here, yeah. you know. All right. So I'll let it run. Okay, uh, that was a, a very large rattlesnake that almost got away. Anyway, so now here's the challenge. Like I mentioned, this town is growing very, very, very quickly. So I have to find a place to release it that's not gonna be developed within the snake's lifetime. So I'm gonna have to scour maps for a couple minutes here and see if I can find something within the, the correct distance here. I think I found somewhere. Let's see what we can do. So that property is pretty great. If you liked snakes, it'd be pretty great. Um, on a night like tonight, when snakes are really, really active, I wasn't even there to go look for three snakes. I just happened to be there to find the one. And I wasn't even really looking for other snakes. I was just trying to see what was going on with our snake fence to see <laughs> what needed to be done to repair it. All right, gotta figure out where to put this guy. Three snakes, but they were really cool people and let two of them stay. Oh man, this area is tough. I got an idea. We'll see if I can actually get in there or not. So there's a nice canyon right below me. So instead of releasing it into cover, I'm gonna put it next to it and let it find its way down into that canyon. And it'll be able to take its pick. There's a lot going on down there. So, okay. Go, go. There you go. Come on. See you later. Okay, so I found a nice little hole for it for this rattlesnake here. And let's take a look at this large diamondback. I'm trying to not. Ooh. Look at that thing. I'm gonna let this guy just go out of the bucket himself. Look at how large it is. Just the girth on that thing. You can kind of see a hole here. Let's see. 
Look at that. Look how large that rattlesnake is. Here. Help me go into this hole over here. There we go. All right, well, another safely relocated Western Diamondback. That was an interesting encounter, as you can see. I almost lost that thing. Um, it was sitting right outside of its hole, and I knew exactly what was gonna happen. It was gonna duck right down into that hole, so I had to act fast and at the expense of the GoPro footage. <laughs> but uh, I was able to find a nice little spot for it to hang out, and honestly, being in this part of town, a rattlesnake that big could very much be as old as I am. Something that big can be 10 to 20 to 30 years old. And it did not grow up in a neighborhood. It grew up in a pristine desert that is now developed. The animal was forced to be in a neighborhood because it was displaced. Its habitat was destroyed. So here we are kind of trying to mitigate that with uh, relocating that rattlesnake. So a quick change of plans. I am heading home, but I'm gonna take the slightly longer route It goes through a little bit more desert habitat um, because I have, I have a hunch that just driving home, I'm gonna see a snake on the road. So we'll see if I'm right. snake. Very pretty one. It's a long nose snake. Second one. It's the same kind as caught that person's house. And this one doesn't have any red on it. Not sure if you can see that, but this is black and white. So in this area, a lot of people confuse these for king snakes. And an amazing thing is, I think I actually saw this snake the other day, crossing in the same place. So hopefully he's a little more careful so he doesn't end up dead. Anyway. I'm gonna take him down there and let him go. And uh, hopefully he just stays out of the road. All right, guy, you need to stay out of the road. This isn't gonna work for you long-term. It's nice being right. <laughs> I mean, I didn't have to go very far, only a few hundred feet, so I think I'll do one more pass. I do need to go home though, but it's hard to resist. So I actually uh, have another little goodie from this same part of town from earlier today that I didn't get a chance to release because it was kind of hot in the day. So I'm gonna pull this guy out. A little gopher snake. So this was actually in the front yard of a neighborhood just a couple streets down from where that rattlesnake was. So uh, this is a nice little place for it to go. I'm gonna release it right here. So, so there's a whole bunch of trees and holes and things like that. Not too far from where this rattlesnake was, but there you go. See you later, dude. Two for one tonight. I got to get back to the car. The phone's been ringing. Uh, people are running around the valley already. It's busy. People are outside seeing snakes in their yard. But thank you for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.